they announced Loki was going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, I mean, he died in Infinity War. And I was like, okay, so I don't know what they're going to do with that, but it, like, it could be cool. Tom Hiddleston's a good actor. Yeah. That happened, it, like the first season premiered. And I was like, shit, this is a good show. Yeah. Like, this is really fucking good. It was like that and WandaVision were like the standout MCU shows. And then the second season happened. And I was like, shit, this is as good if not actually better yeah. than the first season, which was saying a lot because I enjoyed the first season quite a bit. And I looked forward to every week and I got to the season finale and I looked forward to the season finale and then it got here. Cause you remember like the, 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 the second to last episode ends on a hell of a cliff. Yeah. And it's emotional and the stakes yeah. are, are really high. The season finale gets here. And what I expected was that at the end, I'd be like, shit, that was really good. Mm -hmm. What I did not expect was to have some insane emotional reaction to it. Where Balling I was, your eyes out. Well, I, it wasn't. It wasn't quite that. But I really was like, "Holy God, that is so fucking good!" Yeah. And they fucking a plus knocked it out of the park. I could not believe how good it was. And th I think the thing that really gets me, it, and well, I'll probably get into some more of these ideas when we get into the, the spoiler part is we meet Loki at the beginning of season one, right after he was arrested for trying to kill everyone in New York, mm -hmm. New York City. That makes you a villain, <laughs> yes. right? Generally. <laughs> I mean, pretty unconditionally, yeah. I would say. Yes, exactly. And in two seasons of a show, develops his character in such a way that he is starting point villain, ending point fucking hero and you're just like how the fuck did they do that and i would say possibly one of the best villain redemption arcs i've ever seen in fantasy including darth vader okay uh and ben solo which didn't really have much of a yeah um, but you know what i like like darth vader mm -hmm. uh you know he he did just Decades of terrible things. Killed a lot of children. Yeah. Uh, threw an old guy down a pipe. Yeah. Died. And they're like, yeah, you threw the old guy down so you go to heaven. <laughs> right? Um, Loki, it goes through this tremendous growth mm. in two seasons. And his, his goals change, but he still gets his original goal. But now it's with reluctance and, and it's the fact that he like we know that he's a hero but because of what happens to him in the end he still has to pay for what he's done yeah and i like i was like how did they do that that's so fucking perfectly take a guy that is responsible for thousands of deaths in new york make him into someone we really love put him in a situation where we feel like he's a hero but to him because of his fucking you know glorious purpose he's still paying for his sins and he's still being the hero. Mm -hmm. It's like, holy fuck. The complexity of that should be, it's like all over the place in science fiction fantasy. Like that was so, so good. So I, first of all, want to acknowledge Natalie Holt's fantastic score for the entire show, both seasons. Um, the she's, I had never heard of her before this show. She's a really good composer. Oh God. She, I, her music for the, for that, for for the scene you're talking about, yeah, yeah. yeah for, I mean, for all of it, but really, like, it's she did the same thing in the fucking first. Season. All of her music is fire, but like, there's like that one episode where you're like, holy shit, and it's the um, when they're in the void, in the mm, yeah. it, where she does, and it's not even particularly original because she's just ripping off Flight of the Valkyries sure, from yeah. Wagner, but it's like, I like this better yeah. actually. <laughs> like, this is really neat, and there is like, there's a in that scene. It gets emotional and it's fucking great. And then, she, like, right at the right time, here comes the Loki theme and all of the low brass. And yeah. it's like, oh, it's so, so fucking good. I also want to acknowledge Owen Wilson. This is the role he was born to play. Like, Holy shit. That's another thing. I like I've never I've never hated Owen Wilson. Like I like I've never you, had a You just probably didn't think about him. Yeah. He's that goofy guy that's in all the comedies. Yeah, and the comedies I didn't really like movies yeah. I just didn't really like very yeah. much. And it's just like it, it, what the fuck is wrong with your nose? Not, not that it matters. Not that I have any room to talk about anyone's nose, but like you this, go from this, that this episode in particular, yeah. Like you, you want to cry with him, mm -hmm. and it, it, 
also their relationship, uh, Mobius and Loki's relationship is it, it's like, it's like the most, uh, enchanting bromance <laughs> there ever was. Right. Yeah. And I love the fact that his relationship with, I almost said relations, which would have sounded really weird. His relationship with Sylvie didn't go the way that you would have expected it to go. Mm-hmm. Like they, when we get into spoilers, they didn't have the moment that I think a lot of people assumed they would have like, like they did in the first season. And also, and I'm, we'll also talk about this in the spoilers. Are I you think, talking about Loki and Sylvie? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Why? What did I say? I, it, it made it sound like you were talking about Mobius and Sylvie, but I don't, th- I don't think they had it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's their business, but I think they also, at the same time, creating a great season, a great story solved their Jonathan Majors problem if they need to. Maybe. It, I think the way the way that it ended, it was like, let's see how everything falls. If it doesn't fall the the, the, the way we want it, we'll be totally fine. I, I guess as long as you brought him up, I also need to acknowledge that God damn it, Jonathan Majors is good at his job. He's so good. He, he's yeah. a shit human being, yeah. but he's he's just so fucking good at acting. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm reluctant to say he's a shit human being because I I'm very confused. May or by, may not yeah, be, right. allegedly. I'm, I'm confused about the allegations and some of the stuff that's come out about it, and that like it it kind of seems like he actually is a shitty person, but it also it seems like maybe everyone involved might have been really shitty. Yeah. So I'm not really sure. It's, like I'm I'm this way for the facts to come out in court, okay, and then yeah. and and that'll be fine. Probably a shitty person. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, fucking ace actor. I can't can't believe that there's a scene where he does an impression of Victor Timely as He Who Remains. Oh God! Where it's like he like he's like oh, I'm only, only going to do like like fifty percent of it, and it's like how do you act like that? Like how do you how do you do an impression of yourself playing a different character but like do it badly but still like good enough where we know what you're what you're trying to do it's like inception he's it, yeah it, he's in a character being yeah. in a character yeah it's just fucking crazy that just that was so good um were there any other all the supporting characters i, I really enjoyed um I, I wish they would have developed a couple of the, like um the uh, b15 mm-hmm. was her name yeah um I think the only thing we got about Casey was that he was a bank robber and was in Alcatraz and that was it. And I get it. They didn't have a ton of time to get yeah. into it and everything. Uh, that, that's one thing I wish they would have, they could have kind of fleshed those guys out a little bit more. Um, let's get into spoilers. Okay. So uh, the last episode ends up with everyone dusting away a la uh, Avengers Infinity War, except instead of into little dust particles... They turn into time spaghetti. Spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck not? Um, And Loki figures out, hey, I can control the time slipping by just going to the people I care about. Which, in itself, was like, shit. Like okay. that's that's a pretty good power to have. Yeah. Not fucking Sylvie can't do that. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's pretty that's pretty neat. And um, so the the episode starts with him being like, "Okay, we need to stop the TVA from yeah. blowing up. I can just Groundhog Day this." Yeah. <laughs> so he just goes back there and he tries a bunch of things to try to get Timely out the door faster. Yeah. So that he can br- do br- the br- thing. Yeah. It's, so we get to see Victor Timely sp- spaghettified like 10 or 11 yeah. times, by the way. It's gruesome. And it's, and, and every one of them has a different detail. Yeah. Like one of the times he runs out without, without his helmet on. Mm-hmm. It's like, put your fucking like, helmet one on. One of the times he makes it a couple extra steps and you think, oh, it's going to be yeah. a this time. And then he turns uh, into spaghetti. No, yeah. Um, and what's really weird, it's not uh, it's not particularly gory, but like you see his skeleton under yeah. the muscles and everything. It's just kind of weird. I, I like that the, like the first time this happens, um, you see uh, the Victor, the first Victor Timely spaghettification from inside the airlock mm-hmm. where like he runs out and he screams and what? like the the like the the thing attached to his back just kind of slackens and then all the fucking spaghetti comes in yeah. and it'd be like i would not want to get that on me no. they'd be like oh god it's Ooh. it's time spaghetti i don't even know what the fuck that is which so, by the way i guess is it's kind of like based off of um um einsteinian physics about black holes and like how the, it's a um it's a theory that if you were to get stuck into like if you were to get pulled into a black hole that's what, what would happen to you huh. you would spaghettify or whatever um <laughs> So actually, L- Loki figures, okay, this isn't working. I need to go further back. Yeah. So he tries that. Still doesn't work. Yeah, because well. he tries to speed him up. Yeah. Right? He's like, maybe if I just kind of kick him in the ass and get him to go faster, and he's like, okay, that doesn't work. So we need to go 
we need to go before this yes. and see if we can get things happening. And one of the funniest fucking exchanges of the episode, he walks in, there's a conversation between the other hunter and Victor timely miss minutes. And he, it, cause it, like you can tell, like he's already in groundhog day mode yeah. where he's like, he's like, okay, I, just, I need to get through this conversation quickly. Miss minutes. You're a bitch, but if you don't help me, yeah. everything's going to blow he's up. Like, Will he's you like, help me. I get it. You're horny. You're upset. Can we all f- calm the fuck down? <laughs> And the like, she gives him this look where like she raises an eyebrow, and you get a cartoon like bling sound. Yeah, and it's just fucking hilarious. One of my favorite lines is he walk like he walks into to Ouroboros's room with with Victor Timely. I was like, yep. introductions. Obi, this is Victor Timely. Timely, this is Obi. You guys are friends. You both wrote the book. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Give me this model. Look at this model, please. And like, and their acting is really good too, because like you can tell. The, the guy that plays the Ouroboros is just like, <gasps> and the, like they're like, they have their own little moment yeah. over here, but by themselves, they're like, well, oh my gosh. over here. Let's look at the yeah, model. Yeah. You're going to do this. Blah, 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 yeah. It's going to do the thing. I love how through all of these iterations, Mobius and Sylvie are both like, what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> yeah. you? Like, why are you being so how are you doing outlandishly this? weird? Yeah. At one point, Loki's like, okay, this is clearly not working. Obi, how teach me everything you know about science. Obi's yeah. like, that would take decades. Casey's like, actually, it would take centuries. As Victor Timely said it would take uh, centuries. Um, then we cut to centuries later. Yeah, fucking, fucking, here's Loki. The, the funniest fucking... <laughs> it reminded me um, in uh, at the beginning of Endgame, they go and kill Thanos. Spoilers mm-hmm. for the one guy that got pissed at us for the... Yeah. yeah. Um, Thanos gets his head chopped off. And then you get a five years later thing. Yeah. And, and you're like shit oh oh okay. where where is this going and i love it wasn't the same kind of thing but it was like it was for, kind of for a comedy yeah but it, was, it made me think of a fucking spongebob yeah. five yeah. minutes yeah. later yeah um <laughs> and i imagine since he's a god and lives for thousands of years maybe it, maybe he didn't go insane yeah in, in the I mean, process of that? it might not have been a, that, that big of a deal yeah you know um but so, so he is leading everyone into the control room holding this thing and everyone's now, like now loki where did you get this knowledge of yeah, science from multiple like advanced phds in <laughs> quantum physics and shit yeah. it's fucking knows exactly how the computer works like knows all of the science because he's been through this a billion times by this yeah. point um and I, I i wonder if they'll ever let us know just as a fun bit of trivia how because like you've seen groundhog day yes the creators uh said that um that character was stuck there for like 10,000 years. Shit. Yeah. That's dark. Which it kind of is, actually. Um, and it, it would be kind of neat to know exactly how long he'd been at this. So anyway, they finally get it to work. Yes. They, they get like... <laughs> and this is still like... It's funny. They front load uh, the episode with a bunch of comedy. Because mm-hmm. like we needed it, right? Yeah. And... Like the entire time Victor Timely is walking down the gangway, he's like, like Yes, good job. Keep going. You're, you're such you're a hero. Right. <laughs> Another step. Good job. And like they have this conversation where like, don't put the throughput multiplier on the gangway or a roll off. And he gets there and he puts it and he's like, <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. What did I say? Pick that back up. And he's Which like, All oh, right. Like, oh, yes, you're right. Yeah. Uh, he gets it in uh, after a little bit of sticky button. Presses the button. It works. Shoots, it yeah. shoots. And, and Loki's like, Holy shit. And and it actually works. Yeah, and Victor Timely too was like, I'm a fucking hero. Like, Damn. like this is and so he comes back. Mm-hmm. they they all do a bit of premature celebration. Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah, we saved time. Yeah. Uh but then which by the way, this throughput multiplier is nothing but um a, a, it's a MacGuffin. Yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's it, like it's the thing. They had to do the thing to the thing. It's like in every fucking movie ever. But that's fine because that's not necessarily what it's about, right? So, um, they there's some timey wimey sciencey some bullshit. Shit. Yeah, Obi's like, hey, it's 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 not working. Yeah, because the um, I guess the the time branches are multiplying infinitely, infinitely, and the loom can't handle that. Right, it's it's a scaling problem. Yes, and. Uh, so Loki's like, so it didn't matter. Like the throughput multiplier wasn't the original solution, right? The like y- you were doomed to this result from the moment the timeline started branching. Yeah, Loki's like, from the moment they started branching, you yeah. say, 
which was if you remember from the the season one finale is when Sylvie fucking ices he, he remains. remains so that's where loki goes yeah <laughs> and then we get a montage over the next five minutes of, of loki repeatedly trying to calm sylvie down sylvie saying if you want to stop me you'll have to kill yeah. me and then, and then sylvie killing he who and, remains and then hearing him say see you soon <laughs> yeah um and it's, again this is funny like <laughs> yeah well until it starts becoming not funny and yeah. what, it became not funny for me after like the fifth time she said if uh you're if gonna you want, tommy you have to kill me and you're like oh this She's is where serious. this is going yeah that's yeah. that's where this is going um and at some point he <laughs> said the magic words to he remains he's like why the fuck are you just sitting there like well why don't you ever fight back yeah and, and he remains just picks the, this thing off his desk and flicks, he's like yeah since <laughs> since you've made it this far that, flicks at sylvie yeah. and, and like she freezes in time he's like now that let's have a conversation yeah, shall and, we and this was also kind of like it's, it's kind of a dick thing where he's kind of like okay now the adults can talk mm -hmm. right and so they have a conversation and victor time or he who remains is pretty much like look these are your choices you can um you can you can kill sylvie mm -hmm. save me i keep everything together or uh, you let the temporal loom explode. Mm -hmm. uh, everything resets. Uh, it, and it starts a war that kills untold trillions. Yeah. Or do, more, infinitely more than yeah. that. Just every, everyone, everywhere, all at once, right? Um, so those are your two choices. You're going to have to figure out how to make that choice. Like, we are grossly oversimplifying this because Jonathan Majors acts in such a slimy charismatic way yeah. i guess like he he pulls that character off incredibly yeah. well well see the the funny thing the read i got from this when they had this part of the conversation was he's dropped the act mm -hmm. and he's like okay listen it's been fun but one of two one of these two things has to happen mm -hmm. and this is really bad the one is really really bad like killing sylvie get it like that sucks yeah this other thing colossally terrible yeah and so loki has this I, I like at one point he's like what makes you think this is the first time we've had this conversation yeah oh yeah there, there's a bit of a real reveal there where he um he stops time mm -hmm. and he's like oh yeah i learned how to do that and he remains like oh all right that's pretty neat that's that, that's continue with the conversation <laughs> yeah. then right um, i also like how they uh the, one of the scenes is in the elevator mm -hmm. and they they brilliant they brilliantly cut a scene from season one uh, where they do a different POV, but they use he who remains um, scratching his nose as a way to, to tie the two shots together, even though they were oh. they were filmed at different times. Mm -hmm. uh, or just a little filmmaker thing. Yeah. I, I thought was really neat. Um, so Loki is like, well, let's go get some friendly advice, I guess. And um, so he, he goes back to when everyone was in Obi's house turning into spaghetti, and he's like, no, hey. no, 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 oh no. But he visits. Um, um, morbius first doesn't he or mobius first mobius does he? no no, no you're right no no he goes he goes back to sylvia yeah. first yeah he's like look he's it kind of seems for a second like he's like i need to kill you is that no. okay and she's like fuck no, no. <laughs> like what the fuck are you talking about her exact phrasing is i'm not gonna give you my blessing yeah. and which is just an incredibly badass to say way to say go fuck yourself yeah and it's i like he's like okay that yeah i mean okay yeah like, i yeah. probably deserve that right um and the, like this whole thing with him that I love so much is his fear of being alone. Mm -hmm. And the, they have the, the same conversation more or less where she's like, get it together, man. You're a fucking God. Like you need to figure out what you're going to do with this. Mm -hmm. And that's when he goes to talk to, to Mobius. And so he, yes, fucking, th this is the first conversation they have after he gets right. arrested. He's got one. the fucking collar on and mm -hmm. shit. And they have this heartbreaking conversation where Mobius doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. Of course not. But Loki does. And Mobius says the thing that he needed to hear. And w which is more or less. Well, he, he tells a story about how he and Renslayer uh, were on this mission to prune this little child who, if the child lived, would result in the death of thousands. And Five thousand. Yeah. Variants and, and all that bad shit. And Mobius couldn't do it, but Renslayer could. But it was they were too late and they had to prune other people and it was a whole mess yeah um and the conversation gets into glorious but the, the you know the, you're burdened by burdened glorious, with glorious yeah. purpose and he he pretty much is like yeah like when when the choice comes up like that's 
it's your job. There's no comfort in it. You just got to fucking do it. Mm-hmm. Like that's your, pur- like that's the, the purpose of it and everything. And you can tell that he said the right words to Loki. You had no idea what was going on at this point right. in the timeline, but right. Loki's like, oh yes, yeah. I understand. And that. so he stands up, he shakes his hand, fucking spaghettifies mm-hmm. his last conversation ever with him. Right. And so he goes back uh, to, to, to when the loom is exploding. Yeah. And it's, uh, there was an interesting shot that they did where everyone in the room is looking out the window at it, mm-hmm. but he's looking at them because he's seen that a billion times yeah. anyway. But, but th- also this is the last time he's going to see that. Right. right. And so he, he pulls an Armageddon mm-hmm. where he runs down to the airlock and locks Sylvia. Locks and it. Shit. And then they're like, open the door. He's like, yeah. fuck you. I'm going to go do the thing. Yeah. Sylvia's like, the fuck, man, what are you doing? He's like. I'm I'm gonna go be a god. I'm gonna be a, a, a god that that you you can be proud of and and fucking everybody can be proud of. Mm-hmm. And opens the door under the fucking gangway. No protection. No, no gear. suit. No nothing. He's Just like fuck you. Walks I don't, out. Don't need. I'm a god. Yeah. Fuck all of this. Walks out. Starts spawning the most badass fucking armor ever not really armor just just, just this, like like black suit with no, it's a green cloak. yeah it's green? Gr- it's very dark green dark, dark green and it, um it looks like he has a little bit of all of the variants he met in the void hmm. because the the green cape and shit kind of looks like the kid yeah. with, with like the scarf and shit and he's like you know what Sometimes I wear a little bitty horns today. The biggest I'm horns you've ever seen. The, I'm going full Richard E. Grant. I'm going to make it a big fucking deal. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to know what it is. And he starts he starts his walk toward the throughput or the, the temporal loom and uses magic. And he's like, fuck off. And just mm-hmm. like, you know, breaks it. And then like some weird shit happens. All the strains of all like, the strands of time, and, and they're like, "What happened? Oh, the the strands are dying." Yeah, Loki and, just fucking says no. Yeah, Re- reaches out, grabs them, puts yeah. some some green magic into them. And, right. And yeah, he's like, "My mother was a witch. Watch yeah. this," and just starts bringing them all back to life. Mm-hmm. And it like right around here, I was like, "Oh God, I know what he's doing," because I'm thinking he who remains dies in like every conversation they have. Right. Yeah. There is no he who remains. And he, uh, uh, as he re- like starts grabbing onto these strands of time, a rift opens to the, the, the end of time. Yeah. And he pulls them all in with him. Mm-hmm. Fucking as he, he's ascending these steps, a fucking throne appears and he fucking sits on it. And he's like, fuck you guys. I, my, I'll my favorite, do it myself. <laughs> my favorite part of all this is that some of the strands are like going to his cape. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like they're coming out of it. Yeah. 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 And, and then he sits down and like twirls them all around and it zooms out and you see this like they're, they're making a tree yeah the the world tree Yggdrasil yeah yeah from literal like Norse, Norse mythology, mythology yeah. or if you played uh, God of War Ragnarok or like any of that shit like so he makes this unbelievable sacrifice and he went from being the character that like he wanted his throne mm-hmm. right to not caring about it but getting it anyway and so that's fucking that's what he does now he's he's he who remains he's the guy that that guards the sacred timeline he's the fucking reason the time stone's probably green by the way like <laughs> I'm, I'm not oh kidding God. i'm not kidding that, that's actually perfect yeah it's just like the, and I, I don't know if they planned it that way but it's brilliant yeah and so everyone gets to live their lives mm-hmm. and he is there forever holding it all together till the end of time for, for all time always fucking we see Renslayer gets her fucking come up and she's in the void and gets eaten by it Elioth mm-hmm. uh which we didn't see it happen so maybe it, I don't know maybe she's like get away from me and he's like okay um, no but it definitely yeah happened. um the um uh mo- there, there's a new TVA Mm-hmm. and they've got a new screen with a it's not branch it's a fucking tree where they instead of pruning branches they're like growing branches and shit it's more um it's more additive instead of reductive yeah. and uh, all of their literature on the walls have changed to like uh oh, grow the water the fucking branches or whatever but they have a different miss minutes yeah um they're hunting kang variants mm-hmm. and what they uh they give a shout out to the kang from uh ant-man and quantum mania mm-hmm. Um, the guy from 616 they're like yeah he caused trouble but then he got fucked it's it's fine we don't have to do anything about it um and then mobius um goes he gets uh, the case file from himself Mm -hmm. and goes to the sacred timeline just to get a little peek 
to to watch his his jet ski yeah. ride and f- alter ego. Yeah, and he he watches the same scene from the last episode where he's playing with his twins and everything. And the dude just acts with his face for a second. And you're like, that's fucking great. That's yeah. brilliant. Sylvie shows up. Uh, and he's like, where are you going to go? And she's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> probably back to McDonald's. Fuck out yeah, yeah. McDonald's is kind of cool. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Probably go back there. Um, and everything fucking ends in this peaceful resolution because Loki's going to sit his fat ass on this throne and watch over time yeah. forever. And that's how... Or, it, or at least until, you know, the the Kang dynasty happens. And, and Well, that's the thing is that I, if something goes wrong with Jonathan Majors... Uh, they're just gonna they're gonna say that movie's not happening hmm. and they're gonna be like he he remained died <laughs> he died on his way back to his home well, no i mean he died in the sh- in loki he died in the sh- in the show L- loki is the one who's guarding time now okay so and they're hunting kang variant they they hunted them all and then mm-hmm. they'll bring in dr doom or something like some some big like fucking you know villain galactus maybe yeah. i don't know emotional fucking dude i watched it twice both times sitting there like this is just the sweetest bullshit in the world. Like if every MCU was like, if every MCU movie and show was like this, we wouldn't be arguing whether or not they were in trouble. It mm-hmm. just like, it had the right amount of fun in it. It had the right amount of like, uh, like emotional high stakes stuff in it. It had an interesting fucking story with just enough science and weird shit in it where you're like, what the fuck is actually happening here? And the acting on top of all of it was fucking world class. Mm-hmm. Fucking great. A plus. Couldn't it's have been better. Now, uh, 